Hi, this is Peter Taiti and Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Cardiovascular Innovations Foundation presenting case 39 for the Manual of Non-CTO Coronary Interventions. This is a case illustrating treatment of a native coronary artery instead of the saphenous vein graft for recurrent SVG failure. The patient was a young man with uh, multiple previous MIs and two previous cardiac surgeries, one 12 years prior with Lima to LAD and Rima to the right, and another surgery four years prior with vein graft to the ramus and vein graft to the obtuse marginal branch, which vein graft to the OM had been stented one year prior. Diagnostic and geography showed occlusion of the LAD and the obtuse marginal and ramus branch. There was also occlusion of the right coronary artery. However, both uh, the lima to LAD as well as the rima to the right coronary artery were both patent without significant lesions. He did, however, have instant restenosis in the SVG to the obtuse marginal branch, just distally to the previously placed stents. And this is an example of a patient with a saphenous vein graft lesion that is clearly not a candidate for redo bypass since he already had two cardiac surgeries. And the question should always be in those patients, is there an option for doing native coronary artery PCI? Because we do know that the native coronary artery interventions have better short and long-term outcomes than intervening of the vein graft. In this particular case, as I will show you in the next image, the native coronary artery appeared to not be particularly complex, which might preferentially lead to treating that native coronary artery lesion. And sure enough, when we did a dual injection, and sometimes this is necessary to understand the anatomy, it appears that uh, there is actually a channel from the proximal circumflex into this obtuse marginal branch. We used a Micro 14 and a workhorse uh, guide wire, and we were actually able fairly easily to advance the wire into the first obtuse marginal branch. So this is an example where this initially appeared to be a CTO of the obtuse marginal branch. However, with dual injection, this is not a CTO, but actually is a non-occlusive lesion that was easily wired with a workhorse guide wire. We did predilation, we placed a stand, and uh, we did an IVUS to check for expansion, and actually there was a good stand expansion throughout that segment. Therefore, the question was what to do with the saphenous vein graft. It is tricky when there are saphenous vein grafts like this one who have a fairly strong undergrade competitive flow. The reason being that this may lead to thrombosis of the recently placed stent. So many operators do suggest that these vein grafts are coiled after the native coronary is recanalized to prevent the competitive flow and reduce the risk for thrombosis of these new stents. And that is actually what we did. We used uh, an uh, axiom coil into the saphenous vein graft. These are 0.0114 coils that can be delivered through a standard microcatheter. And this um, did actually uh, cause occlusion, although it's not perfect. We do know it takes some time after the heparin is stopped for the vein graft flow to completely go away. Another stent was placed in the proximal circumflex, and that uh, provided a nice result with occlusion of the vein graft and TIMI3 flow into this first obtuse marginal branch. In summary, there are several lessons from this case. The first one is that when a patient presents with SVG failure, especially if it's recurrent SVG failure, that was the case in our patient, it's always preferable to treat the native coronary if feasible and not uh, very complex. And sometimes one cannot understand that unless dual injection is done, so there should be low threshold for doing dual injection in this previous bypass graft patients with SVG failure. The third point is that once the native coronary is recanalized, one should check on whether there is brisk competitive flow through the saphenous vein graft, and that is the, if that is the case, many people recommend to actually call the saphenous vein graft to reduce the competitive flow and minimize the risk for stent thrombosis of the recently placed stents. Thank you.